And seriously, there's just nothing to lose. Things are really going great. You know, okay, look. We're having this, like, impeachment thing. Let's get serious. What do the leaders of other countries think about this? I mean, they see it on their news. We'd, we'd see it on ours. Hmm? We, what would we think? What would we think if this was going on somewhere else? What would we be thinking that we're Looney Tunes? And we wouldn't care who was winning or losing or anything. The whole thing is just like, you guys are committing political suicide as a group. You're fools. That's what we would think about other people, so pretty sure they think the same thing about us. But what do the leaders think about the Donald? Well, I mean, you may have your opinion, I may have mine, it may be different. Let's deal with Rack's facts here. Where is the Donald right now? Davos. Who's he talking to in Davos? Oh, the cream of the world leaders. That's it by invitation, I think. You don't go there with your tail between your legs. You would be thrown out at the door. No, they... Those who are also there with him, sharing a, a huge swath of human power. And yes, he's the one I would like to have there. <laughs> We've had others. Some are just embarrassing. But nonetheless, he's not embarrassed by it. And he knows that the leaders who are have their metal tested have already had their metal tested, shall we say. They all respect him totally as he comes through it, but they already see him coming through it. They see him as if he has already come through it, and they're treating him as if he had already come through it, because it's, it's a sham. It's just, to, it's, it's got to play its course. And here's a man who can stand up in front of the world and say, it's got to play its course. His own words, and, and yes, I, we, he and I did talk about this, but it, it, it's his words. Believe me, the man, the man's his own man. When asked, I doubt Would you rather have a full-blown trial or just a quick acquittal? You want to see a man be presidential? Watch his answer to that question. You want to see a man stand up and be a man? Watch his answer to that question. You want a role model for yourself, for your children? Watch him answer that question. Yes, I'll tell you his answer to that question. For me, I would prefer to take it all the way. Let everyone see everything take it the full mile, the full measure, because I will be victorious in that. And things will be public, publicly shown that are fake and lies. However, no matter what I want, it would be best for the country as a whole for it to be a short, quick action, get it over with, get it behind us, and let's move on. So therefore, let's move on. Okay, my friends, this was the answer from our president, our duly elected and loved Donald J. Trump. If you don't support him, that's okay. I mean, you know, don't be angry with me for doing it. Just... There's some real whack jobs out there on the other side. And, golly, man, you know, look, you, I like this stuff. Like, well, he, you know, he was like, he's on The Apprentice, and he's just acting like that. No, no. <laughs> he, 
he didn't have to do that either. He just had fun with it. That's all I want. Now, people were afraid of what he would become politically 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, that long ago. Now, it's, it's, it's his time. And he's doing well. I, there's things I, I, I tell him myself. Like, oh, you know. And the laying off the Twitter thing. Hey, look. And Twitter gets his giggles. Then Twitter, you want to yell at people and tell them what crazy stuff they're doing. And they're going to do the same to you. So what? It's like open the door and let them see. The stuff's nuts. Let's look at the part where we're working out. Good trade deals. Good security. Getting our boys home when they don't need to be out there taking care of the veterans. That's a, that's a sweetheart thing, man. I mean, it's got a big heart. Taking care of people. We don't need any new ones coming in. He wants them to come in. Just come in the right way. Hey, ain't nothing to that, man. You sneak in the back door. I'm going to show you. Come in the front door. I'll welcome you. That's really not asking a lot. It's kind of like the way we like things around here, too. Really? Is that, is that all, so hard to comprehend? No, that's not. And what about Iraq? Did you notice it's like all of a sudden? Oh, man. It, it beat me. We got the articles over there, man. We marched them. We did, what about Iraq and Iran? And solo ho meaning and bombing things and people and... It's like as if it never happened. What about that flight with all them Canadians on there? They were hightailing it out of there. That wasn't Canadian. There might have been some Canadian college students on there. I don't know. How would I know? But there were some other people on there that were hightailing out of there that uh, weren't supposed to be. In. Took them out. Iran admitted as much. As much as they're going to. You don't hear a word about none of any of that. The bomb, we bombed them, they bombed us. Go back and watch. Details are in there. The phone call. Remember the fi the, the uh, fiction of the phone call that was going I think it was Rax, yeah, Rax Fizzle. One. <laughs> but nonetheless, impeachment? No. It's, yeah, it, it's, he's impeached. It's, it's like the kids will learn about it. Just like Andrew Johnson was impeached, and Clinton was impeached, and Nixon was impeached, and I'm pretty sure there was one other guy in there, too, that made it actually that far. Nixon, of course, resigned. You know, uh, Clinton was censured. Hmm. Lost his license to practice law over that. But, yeah, you know, the, the Clintons, they're still okay. You know, it wasn't Hillary that did it, of course, right? Mm, yeah, come on. Oh, boy, it just goes on and on and on. But this, are we forgetting all, that all this stuff looks the same? This is one of the things that Rax Facts looks back. Okay, Rax Facts looks back. Here we go. Let's, how about a little list here? Do we know anything about Flight 370? Where did that thing go down? Do you know how many experts have put out documentaries on exactly where that went and how it happened and nobody has any proof whatsoever. 9-11 is kind of like that too. And of course, Kennedy has been like that for a long time. They didn't have, if it wasn't for the Zapruder film, we just would have heard Cronkite talk about it. Epstein. Come on. Okay. I don't expect to hear the exact details on the Epstein thing. I just really don't. And I'm kind of wondering if that's all that bad. I didn't really want to know that much about it to begin with. Except that if it's endemic in the government, we have to know about it. Yeah. We have to know about it. If it's not, it's a bunch of malarkey that some people that shouldn't have been doing, some things that they shouldn't have been doing... It's over. But I don't think, you know, this case is an endemic. I think that's something that has to be looked at, looked at well, and looked at by people that uh, weren't involved. Uh, and won't get hurt. That's, 
That can get some weird stuff. I mean, Mueller. Come on. Mueller was that stooge from the beginning. The man, I mean, I'm sure the man had an illustrious career. career was a lot of strength. He served the country. Blah, blah. I get that. With this investigation, he, he was already too old when they put him in charge of it. Two years later, getting hammered like that, knowing what was coming. About killed the man. Did you see him in front of Congress? He didn't look like he was one of the top ten in his class, okay? No. Bottom ten. Maxie, Nancy, Mitt. What are they going to do, man? What are they going to do? I hope they go home and they run and lose. That's, that's all I can say about that. Facts, facts, man. It'll be over soon. The whistleblower. Well, his first name begins with a C. So I have to spell it out because I will. You know I will. Gotta go. God bless you.